have you there? Craig Kennedy, Chief. That's not Craig Kennedy. Take his beard off. Kennedy's tricked us. But he didn't trick me. Number eight, tell number six to bring the girl to me, here. Yes. The rest of you can go. I want to talk to this man alone. Sullivan. You stand over by that door. And when the man comes in with Miss McMillan, you take care of him. Right. The boss says for you to bring the girl to him upstairs. What the boss says goes with me. Keep quiet, no harm will come to you. Step in there. Craig Kennedy gave you those papers you brought me, didn't he? Yes, he did. There are two pages torn out of Dr. Geronda's gold formula book, which contain the gold formula. I want those pages. But I told you, I don't know where they are. What do you mean by coming in here without a signal? Why, I... Number eight said you wanted me to bring the girl to you. Bring her where? He said to the hangout. Go back and tell the boys to surround the hotel. Something's gone wrong. Now we'll see if your friend Craig Kennedy can save you this time. <laughs> Hey, the guy upstairs is a cop. The boss says not to let him get away. Hey, you can't go in there. James, Craig, they're on to us downstairs.
Where did you get the siren? It came with this car I just bought. Oh, I see. <laughs> Jameson, we've simply got to find Miss McMillan. Come on, Jameson. Follow that car. It's against the law for a private citizen to have a siren on his car? Just a moment, officer. Hello, Louie. How are you? Well, hello, Jameson. I didn't recognize you. Say, this is Craig Kennedy. You know him, don't you? Oh, yes. Anything I can do for you, Mr. Kennedy? Well, it's rather late now. You see, the car we were pursuing got away. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but I had to warn this man about the siren. Yes, I know. I'll take care of him. All right. Thanks, Louie. Thank you. Looks like the clutching hand has beaten us again, Craig. I'm not thinking about the clutching hand. I'm worried about Miss McMillan. Let's get back to my apartment, Marty. Okay. That may be the way you look at it, but all of Geronda's paper should be turned over to the corporation. You know I cannot do that. Not as long as there is a doubt as to whether Dr. Geronda is dead or alive. The corporation is entitled to the gold formula. It may be among his papers. I hold Geronda's estate in trust. And I cannot turn over anything until it is legally established that Dr. Geronda is dead. Very well. But there are ways and means to get what I'm entitled to. Yes? Mrs. Geronda just phoned and said that she would be unable to keep the 5 o'clock appointment with you. Did she give any reason? No, sir. Very well. I have to leave on an important matter, Cromo. And in the meantime, you'd better think over my request. Good day, Montgomery. Oh, hello, Joe. What brings you here? I want to borrow your car. When and for how long? I want to take a little trip out to the Geronda place. Be careful with it. What have you got up your sleeve? You know when I pull it what I've got up my sleeve. Let me know when you get back. Hello, Vernon. Oh, hello, Walter. Did you find Shirley? Yes, we found her and lost her again. That's the reason I came back here, to see if she'd returned. Not yet. Miss Verna, a phone call for you. Oh, thank you. Yes? Repeat exactly what I have told you. Verna, listen closely and please do as I ask. Yes, what is it? Continue. Verna, go to your father's study and get all of the papers in the center drawer of his desk and bring them to the colonnade at five o'clock sharp. Please do this. But I don't dare do such a thing. I mustn't. Tell her that unless she does as she is told, all of you will share the fate of her father. Unless, Verna, we do as we're told, we will all share the same fate as your father. Verna, what's the matter? I can't tell you, Walter. Excuse me, please. Any messages, Jenkins? Yes, sir. There's a message recorded on the visitone over the Geronda hookup. Thank you. A 
Uh, yes, Shirley. Why, yes, Shirley, what is it? Go to your father's study and get all the papers from the center door of his desk and bring them to the colonnade at five o'clock sharp. Oh, but Shirley, I don't dare do such a thing. I mustn't. Unless we do, we are told we will all share the papers. Jenkins, get Mr. Jameson on the telephone. He's at the Geronda home. Mr. Jameson on the phone, sir. Thank you, Jenkins. Hello? Oh, hello, Craig. I'm glad you called. I got something very important to tell you. I know all about it. Now, while you're there, I want you to do something for me. Listen carefully. I want you to set every clock in the Geronda home ahead one hour. Understand? Yes. Oh, all right. Please tell Miss Verner that I'm calling. Yes, sir. Step right in. Yes. He's been murdered. Murdered? Walter, I want you to help Miss Geronda to the house. I'll take care of everything here. All right. This is no place for you, Vernon. I'm going to take you over to the house. 
you should let Mr. Kennedy know you had a five o'clock appointment with Mr. Montgomery. But, my dear, I phoned and canceled the appointment. Well, he probably never received your message. Yes. He probably never did. Good evening, Mrs. Geronda. Hello, Walter. How do you feel, Verna? I'm all right, thank you. Mrs. Geronda, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Why, certainly, Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy, this is my last warning. Drop this case, or you will be next. You keep quiet so you can't be heard over the microphone. Nothing will happen to you. This is Shirley Mellon. I'm in the colonnade. Help me. Help. Help. Jameson, you stay here with Verna and Mrs. Geronda. I'm going to Shirley. But Craig, you stay here with the lady. You did exactly as I expected. You've led Kennedy into my trap. Mm -hmm. 